Hello and welcome to the walkthrough of this brand new play all about the life of Robert Burns, commissioned by Dumfries and Galloway Arts Festival and written by the one and only John Kearney. Today we're going to take you through some of the locations and give you a brief overview of the story as it goes. We'll kick off here at the White Sands, there'll be the facade of a ship here uh, and uh, Burns will jump off that and address the assembled crowd in French. Uh, we're going to hear a little bit about his story uh, as an exciseman and also a little bit about what's happening in France. So that's where we'll kick off and uh, the Burns promenade will then take its first walk uh, across the White Sands. Our second location takes us over to the front of the Coach and Horses pub and this is where a, a number of scenes will happen, there'll be around about five scenes here as Burns talks a little bit further about his life and his loves. We will of course be using uh, pedestrian crossings on the day, we will also uh, have stewards in place so we'll be looking for some helpers uh, to help with that as well as lots and lots of different actors and actresses to play townspeople and to take on starring roles. This will be one of the main locations for the, uh, the action in the promenade then, a nice space for the public to spread out in. We're going to have uh, a stage set up and a number of different scenes taking place here. Robert Burns will disappear into the building and he'll reappear once we get to our next location at the Mid-Steeple. Our next location is the fantastic theatre here of the Plainstains and the Mid-Steeple behind it. And what a great setting for what will be one of the main parts of the promenade performance. And the crowd will be static for some time. It looks like it's going to be absolutely fantastic here. There'll be dancing, there'll be music when they arrive because there's a bit of a fete for the King's birthday. More about that though when you read the script and of course more, much more about the life of Robert Burns. All the way along the promenade along the main street our crowd will once again be accompanied by our musicians and singers and hopefully by this stage we'll have gathered some more uh, to join in the singing. If you fancy being involved you, you may well find yourself uh, on top of the steps here. So our next scene will take us in past the famous uh, Globe Inn, we'll have a wander through here and as we go through the close here we'll hear the sounds of the pub as it would have been in Burns' heyday. Uh, there'll be um, one or two more actors here uh, through the pass and uh, there'll be one or two performers as well as we come out into the courtyard. Just a, a passing performance on this promenade on the life of Robert Burns. We'll find the performers here, perhaps one or two people out uh, enjoying the, the evening air and having a drink as the performance takes place here. After carefully crossing the road again here, we'll uh, arrive at the side door of Scotland's oldest working theatre, the Theatre Royal. And this is a rare experience to sneak in and take in a bit of a performance um, for, that would have been performed in Burns Day here at the theatre and may well even have uh, been performed to Burns himself because we believe that he indeed visited this theatre uh, on a number of occasions. So that's going to be absolutely fantastic. There'll be sound, there'll be lights and uh, the performance will be on there. In the the theatre and we'll get a chance to just dip into that performance for a short while before we head uh, for our next location. Our penultimate uh, location is here in the Brooms Road car park. We're going to have a stage set up against this fantastic old sandstone wall and it'll be the the, the move towards the climax of the show which is going to happen over uh, in front of Burns House. Here, just a few hundred yards from where Burns is buried, we'll see the dramatic climax to this promenade. We'll stop in front of Burns' house. He will uh, struggle his uh, last few steps uh, up the hill and into the house, crawling uh, very much as he goes. Uh, we'll see a light come on in one of the top windows, and then we'll see the blinds drawn before an immortal final line to this fantastic performance. <laughs> 